Hello, uh, this video is really about um, the kind of thing that I say to my customers quite a lot when they bring their laptops in. Uh, it's um, essentially don't throw it away. Um, you don't need to throw your laptop away. You don't need to buy a new one. Um, when you bought your laptop, if it did what you wanted it to do, and there is actually no reason um, to change it because you haven't changed what you want it to do, then this is the best thing you can possibly do with it. Um, it's certainly the most cost effective and basically it involves fitting an SSD. So I've got connected up to the test rig a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue. It was manufactured in 2015 and it's the 5400 RPM model. Uh, so we'll start it up and see how long it takes to boot and then I'm going to start Task Manager as soon as the desktop appears just to see if there's any background disk thrashing going on. So we'll power it up. I'll, um, if I reach across it's because I'm, I've got the Ninja to record the screen so we get a better screen quality. So I'm going to record that. And it's now saying loading operating system. That, that beep was me starting the stopwatch. So we'll um, see how long it takes to get to the actual desktop itself. Uh, at the moment it's 20 seconds. Still going. 22, 23, 24, 25. So it's still, still loading. There's the desktop, that was 30 seconds, so I'm going to right click and do task manager uh, as quickly as I can and we'll see um, what the disk is doing in the background. So at the moment it's saying 0%, which I don't believe. Um, that <laughs> so it's 100%. Um, so there was a bit of a delay while it you know, it was so busy that it couldn't report how busy it was. So I'm still doing 100%. So even though the desktops appeared, the, the hard drive is still getting absolutely hammered by something. Um, it's Windows Update, uh, Windows Search, there's the anti-malware, there's Edge trying to do updates. The network cable's disconnected so that it can't update because I want these drives to stay the same. Um, it's, a, it's a minor control thing, but we're still at, it's still at 84% look. So um, even though the desktop's appeared, this drive is getting absolutely thrashed. And this doesn't have any antivirus on it. This doesn't have any of the software that you use on it. This is just a basic um, installation of Windows 10. And it's, it's still going, it's still 75. So there's still stuff going on. And that's, you know, a good two minutes after, you know, you tried to turn your computer on. So let's, put some numbers on that and we'll quantify that using um, crystal disk mark so we'll do a a, a quick um, benchmark for it so I'm going to do all the tests I'll fast forward this bit because it'll take a bit of time to do it and that's it done so 113, 109, a half, a half, 106. So just to keep a rough idea of those values, we're not particularly bothered about exact values. We're looking at orders of magnitude, really. And we're not going to repeat this and then do an average. I'm just going to run this once. So that's the uh, mechanical drive done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut it down and we'll see how long it takes to shut down as well. We're going to shut it down and then swap it out for the um, SSD. So I'll do start and then shut down and we'll see how long it takes to shut down. So it's shutting down now. The screen went off quite quickly, but uh, you can probably see the light is still flashing away on the test rig there. That one there is still flashing away. And it hasn't powered that. Ah, it's powered down. Right. So that was, you know, 10 seconds, something like that, 15 seconds. So I'm going to unplug the Western Digital and then I'm going to plug in the uh, Patriot SSD and we'll do the same thing again. I'll power it up and we'll see how long it takes to start up. I'll reset that. So I'm going to power it up. I'm going to start it from when it says loading operating system. 
because that's the important bit. That's there. So that's 13 seconds and there's the desktop. If I right click straight away and do task manager, the disc is 2%, 3%. And the, the actual data for the disk appeared instantly because the disk wasn't too busy to provide data about how busy it was. <laughs> so um, as you can see, it's 17% now. It spiked there at 31%. So things are kicking in, but it's still a lot less than it was when it was the mechanical drive. So let's now look at the, do a crystal disk benchmark again and see what results we get for the SSD. And that's it done. And um, <laughs> the results are quite startling. Uh, not unsurprising, let's be honest, but nonetheless, um, fa it's fairly obvious that the SSD is significantly faster. It was 113 to 262, um, 0.59 to 30. So it, it, it's radically, it orders of magnitude faster. So if you've got an old laptop, then it seems to me like a really good idea is to stick an SSD into it. So we'll just shut it down. And that's it done. So it takes a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that now. So that's kind of proof, if proof were needed, that an SSD is significantly faster than a mechanical drive. Uh, if you bought your laptop originally to do a particular job, and um, assuming that job hasn't really changed, so you browse the internet, you word process, you do work on it, that kind of thing, then um, it's, it, it's pretty obvious that if you swap out the mechanical drive for an SSD, you get a massive jump in performance and your laptop is suddenly, uh, you know, it, it sort of breathes new life into it almost, and it works a lot better than it did even when you bought it. Um, but let's put that into some sort of technical context. Uh, most laptops come with a, um, a 5400 RPM drive, which is what this one is, remember. The reasons for that are twofold. One is that they're cheaper, the slower drives are cheaper, but also, specifically to laptops, they use less power. So um, that's why you will get one of these drives in your laptop. If you pay for a premium laptop, you might get a 7,200. If you've got a high-end gaming one, it might be a 10,000 RPM. Um, but th that, this conversation isn't really about those kind of laptops. This is about your general laptop that you bought to word process, browse the internet and you know do homework on or whatever. So you're gonna get the 5,400 in there. So th any any modern SSD, this, this one is actually specified at 550 megabytes a second, I think, as its peak transfer speed. A any modern SSD will be orders of magnitude faster than whatever drive you've got in there. The second benefit for doing it, apart from the obvious your machine goes faster, is that this was manufactured in 2015. So at some point it's gonna break. Now they have, typically one year warranty some are longer but generally it's one year i've known drives break one day after the warranty expires and i've also known drives break 25 years <laughs> after the warranty has expired um, if i could accurately predict when they were going to break um, i'd be filming this from my yacht wouldn't i really let's be honest so i don't know when drives are going to break but what i can confidently say is that the older the drive gets the more likely it is to break so if you've got an old laptop and you haven't had the drive replaced in it, not only does putting an SSD in make your computer go faster, it also resets the your drive's gonna break clock. So you can carry on using the mechanical drive if you want, but obviously if it breaks, you're in a whole world of trouble because you have to reinstall Windows, get the data off, all that kind of thing. Whereas at the moment, if the drive works, it's relatively simple, which is another advantage of doing it, relatively simple to clone that drive onto that one. You can do it in a few clicks. 
So it's actually much more cost effective as a preventative measure, not only because of the performance boost, but also because you can, you know, you, you reduce the risk of all the trouble you get when a drive actually breaks. So to me, it, it makes a lot of sense to, um, rather than buy a new laptop, um, it makes a lot more sense just to swap it out for an SSD and then carry on using the one you've got. Um, if you've got any questions about this, then you can stick them in the comments. Um, liking and subscribing is appreciated. Um, you can stop watching now if you want. What I'm going to do, uh, the final bit, is just talk about how the test would was set up so that anyone who thinks that I'm trying to diddle them can you know, put just put people's minds at rest. So feel free to stop watching. Um, uh, and, and, and thank you for watching. <laughs>
for an SSD. In which case, the simple solution is to get one of these, which is, it's not metal, it looks like it is, but it's plastic. It's like a little adapter thing. It's got the pass through there, so that so it all matches up. So you can see that looks, the back of that looks the same. And all that happens is the SSD just slots in like that, and it just slides in, and then you screw it through the back. And it, it's, you know, it's, it's basically, it's, it's just an adapter, really. That's all it is. So you can fit an SSD to any computer. It doesn't really matter what it is. There's a way to do it. You might need little accessories like the little plate and you might need the adapter, but you can fit one. Um, and it will bring a huge lease of life to a, a, you know an old machine and will save you hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I, I guess the temptation uh, is to is to worry that, that the modern SSD isn't being used to its full potential because you know, as I mentioned earlier this can do 550 mega second I think and you know the benchmark said it was doing 250 that doesn't that doesn't matter does it really it, the limitations of speed are the chipset the processor the RAM or the, the, there are other factors that will limit the speed that the SSD can, can go at but it's always going to be faster than the mechanical drive always so you will get a boost in performance regardless of what your old computer is and provided you can actually fit it in there which you should be able to it represents an extremely um, tempting and attractive and cost effective way to increase performance on your machine in terms of time and therefore cost it shouldn't really take longer than an hour's labor to sort it out some laptops have a little um, sort of trap door on the back which gives you access to the hard drive area others you have to take the whole back off but it can be done reasonably quickly the actual cloning takes a few clicks and then and then you walk away you don't have to watch it do it it can take a few hours depending on how big the hard drive is but it doesn't you don't need to watch it doing that so the actual interaction is is very short so in, in terms of cost you pay for the the ssd which obviously the larger capacities cost more and then you pay roughly an hour's labor maybe two if it takes if it's awkward to get the top them over but that's all it should cost and that's that's going to be significantly less than buying a new laptop and you don't have to have all the hassle of transferring your data setting up all your programs or any of that um so yeah, it, it, to me, it's an absolute, you know, it, it, it makes perfect sense to do this. Uh, if you've got any questions, then stick them in, in the comments. I answer all the questions. Um, liking and subscribing is appreciated. And um, if you think this has helped you and saved you a bit of money, um, and buying me a coffee is good because I like coffee. Uh, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.